Good morning and happy Thanksgiving everyone. It's uh, about 520 in the morning. I've been up here for a little bit uh, getting a few things here and there cleaned. Uh, since we eat around noon we got to get the bird going pretty quick here. Uh, so the first thing we got to do is take it out of the brine, get it dried off, and uh, let it sit for a little bit. It seems to be nice and dry before we go sticking anything to it. Uh, while it's drying off we can um, always get the pellet uh, smoker up to temperature and do what we need to do with that. I won't really show you that because it's still pitch dark outside so you won't really be able to see anything but uh, you know it's uh, <laughs> time to get going. We've already got some of the stuff set up so we make as little of mess as possible. So let me go ahead and get that set over there so you can see kind of what's going on. Okay so we're going to do this over the sink to try to make as little mess as possible. Uh, hopefully we succeed in that. <laughs> so let's get the bird out of the container and these ice packs are still frozen pretty much so it's a good sign oh yeah that's still nice and cool come on baby now then we have to do it down here on the floor can't quite get the leverage on it up there Pretty good. Okay. Oh, Lord. I'm going to take the watch off. And the ring. A bit of me. There it goes. Okay. And oh, that's cold. There's the bird. Right there. It's starting to come loose now. Oh man, that smells really good. Nice uh, the herb mixture. Real nice. Um, where is that's the part? A lot of people don't like, ooh, yeah, the neck. And I don't feel a giblet bag. Just the neck. No, no giblet bag. Okay. So the next thing we gotta do is just get this lifter off of there. Get it out of here first. Might be easier to do that way. Oh, I have to wash my. Okay, man, there we go. Hey, there's a jubilee bag. It got shoved way up there somehow. Toss that thing out. You don't want that. Okay. Ooh, it's cold. Get that out of the way. And let's try to get this out of there. Nice and herby. Apple should make a pretty good bird. Come on. Good night. There it goes finally. There we go. Lots of herbs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this right off. We don't want any water on it it'll make it. Uh, just not that it won't stick very well. So 
the season is long and gonna want. Uh, just wet bird just does not smoke very very well. So make sure we get it all. It doesn't take a lot. We're gonna do a little work here, like cut that uh, fat out of the way. <sighs> Sorry guys, I know I'm kind of grunting a bit, but it's early. I only had about two hours of sleep, maybe three. So I'm a little, uh, a little on the tired side. I did make me some coffee, didn't show you guys. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's extra strong. I put about six tablespoons in the cup that normally gets about two and a half, three. So I have between five and six on there. Remember, it is poultry, so keep my hands. Normally, I wouldn't use it like that, but I don't feel like it doing it. Light. Hmm. I think that's still okay. It's a little oh, blackish there. We'll get a different flashlight. Yeah, it just kind of looks like some bruising. That should be fine. We're gonna clean this up a little bit more. Um, maybe the front here too is just a tad, so go get the kitchen scissors, we'll take care of that now. They don't rust.
All right, now we're gonna, well, like I said, let it dry, get the pellet smoker going, and uh, clean up our barn mess. So I'll get back to you guys here in a little bit. I want to get to work and kind of film some stuff again. Like I said, it's a little dark outside, so you wouldn't be able to see a whole much if it tried, or a whole lot if I tried to fill it out, film it out there. Man, I need that coffee pretty quick. All right, pellet smoker is going, and I just want to kind of show off this bird to begin with. I mean, it's already kind of a nice brownish red color. You can see here what it used to be. So it is uh, maybe another five minutes, and we'll get some sort of binder, some fat on this, get the rest of our rub on it, and uh, pop in the smoker, which is completely up to temp. Okay, so normally I'd use olive oil or butter to do this. It's uh, a little early for me, I'm not quite waking up. So we're just gonna use cooking spray, same thing, it's just the fat to get it to kinda brown up and get our seasoning to stick. Also, we'll make less of a mess this way. So get rid of that, we don't need that. Something else that's worth mentioning, I have it on a cooling rack right now. I'm also going to leave it on that cooling rack when I stick it into the smoker. It'll help transport it later when it's done. Not always trying to pick up the bird or anything, we just pick up the rack and that's that. A little bit more on the front here. Now we'll start our seasoning, put our dry rub on there. So again, this is the stuff we use on the inside for the brine part of it. We're gonna have to put on there just cover it real nice with it. Don't get chintzy with it. Is that all of the rest of this can? I got another whole can sitting right there of it. Uh, that one will be gone, so we'll just bear hand it here in a minute. Let's see what this big cooking pan does. It catches pretty much all of my mess. I'm making enough on this backside because I'm trying not to flip it over too much. And as this bird cooks, we'll be putting more of that rub on there. More binder, more rub, more binder, more rub, just kind of as it goes. Uh, got to put a little more on this side. It didn't quite hit it well enough. Uh, same with this side. Pick it up, put it on side. We'll flip it. Same thing on this side. Oh gosh, things want to move on me. Again, you know, I don't want to get chintzy with the with the rope. We want to make sure we get enough on there. Get your hand kind of help. And boom. And one last thing, we'll put a little more here on the top. I should have done that bottom first, but didn't do it like a dum dum. We leave these, but the other thing, if we leave these wings, as I said, now they're gonna get dried out on this. We don't want dried out wings, so we're gonna get some toothpicks. And just kinda poke them in like this, keep them close to the bird and heat. Let's cook a little better that way.
sure get that Dom bottle good and washed up after this because it's uh, looking about the same. So while I'm thinking of it, let's just uh, set it in the sink. That way I know I need to wash it. Oh. All right. That do its thing. Uh, we need to cut up some lemon limes, oranges, and some Granny Smith apples and shove in the cavity there. Should make a nice fruity bird. <laughs> Juicy orange, holy cow. All right, now we got the fruit scrubbed up. We're going to quarter them, except the limes. We might have the limes. We might quarter it. I don't know. So some of you might be wondering why we wanted to cut these up. Basically what this is going to do is fill that cavity up and create more mass so it can actually cook from the inside and the out easier, keep a more constant temperature. And it's also going to help, you know, flavor that bird a bit on the inside. So let's uh, get the bird packed. Wish I would not have forgotten to grab the extra set of nitrile gloves I have, but you know, it happens. I shove it in there, it's, it'll take all of this. Your hand will have to get a little dirty, but it'll take it all. Well, usually it takes it all. Be worry about stretching it out some, it's gonna happen. Let's see, we got a little more room left. We'll cut that off there too. We don't need that for anything. If I wouldn't have been a dumb dumb, I'd have done this before uh, I put a bunch of uh, seasoning on it, so I'm gonna have to re-season it just a little bit. See, told you it all fit. We don't want this little extra flap here, so we'll go ahead and get rid of it. That'll need to be washed. And, you know, once again, uh, had I not been a dum-dum, I'd have done all this before I put all of the uh, seasoning on it. Sometimes, oh no. Sometimes even the smartest person has dumb moments though. Now that should work me 
maybe. I'll have to get another one. gosh it's right there come on man these toothpicks suck I don't have anything else to put there This might just end up being uh, overcooked wing because it is not playing nice. Okay, so I guess it's just going to be an overcooked wing because, like I said, it ain't playing nice. Come off it. Good night. It's just skin right there. There we go. Okay, maybe that'll fix it. I also want to tie these up so it keeps everything in there. Sorry guys, my nose is just going crazy this morning. There we go. And re-season the spots where we rub the seizing off because we were a dum-dum and season first. When we should have season second. I'm gonna let that sit for another couple minutes. We're gonna go check on the smoker. All right. So right now we are clearing out what's left in the hopper here. I dumped it all out that back portion. You can see it over there. Uh, what I had in the hopper was a bunch of stuff that was just way too harsh for a turkey. So we're cleaning it out. The auger is that little spinning part down there. It basically just takes pellets and feeds it in to the burn pot. So we're going to make sure we get that cleaned out. So here on the inside. We have it turned up to about 500 right now. Uh, and it's just burning away. So once that's done, we will fill this back up with our apple and whiskey barrel blend. And uh, we'll be able to put the burn on. doesn't really do it justice here, but it's a nice bird ready to go. And looks like our pellet girl is ready to go. Time to put the bird on. We are set for 350. The bird is on, no probes yet. We don't want to puncture the bird, so now let's just close it down and wait. So while the bird does its thing, uh, there's not a whole lot we can do. Basically, we'll just have to sit down. It'll take between three to four hours. Uh, we need to hit 165 in the white meat, 175 in the dark meat. Uh, but while it's doing its thing, at least for the first, like I said, hour, hour and a half, we just kind of sit down and uh, stare at the wall. So we'll finish cleaning up a little bit of stuff we have left to clean up. But first, we're going to go ahead and finally drink that cup of coffee. So that coffee is good and stout and good and cold at this point. But uh, <laughs> there's something else I wanted to show you here. And you can barely see it here, but that nice blue, very light smoke coming off is exactly what you want for smoking. So here in about eight minutes, we're going to go out. It'll be an hour since the bird's been on. Uh, basically, we're not going to do anything to the bird outside of the thermometer in it. 
Uh, the other thing we're going to do is put the ham on, which we have sitting right here. And then once we get that all on, I'll start working on the glazes for them. So I've had it open a little too long, but that's what the bird's looking like so far. So we're going to let it sit in there a little longer. Uh, smoke cheater doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot, so I must be doing something wrong with it. But uh, put our thermometers for that and the ham. Uh, one other thing I do want to mention as I close this down is the fact that I goofed. Set it for 350. It needed to be 300. I set it for 350 for about five minutes just to finish kind of burning everything off. So I'll just leave it to it. Be back out in about another hour. So I figured out what I did wrong with the cheater stick or the uh, the cheater smoke tube. Uh, <laughs> it was too early in the morning when I read the directions, which is why I usually do these the day before. But uh, it said basically put flame on it for. 15 to 30 seconds and then let stand I read 5 to 10 seconds it was 5 to 10 minutes so I went out there and fixed it uh, and it's working much better uh, now but what that does mean is that it didn't really help the bird much but it should go ahead and help the uh, the ham that just went on and so it's fine if that's the only thing I screw up today then I'm doing pretty good the other thing that might be worth mentioning is the smell right now because I know some people probably ask that actually smells pretty good. Um, you obviously can smell the apple wood and a little bit of the whiskey barrel, but you're also getting a fresh, a little bit of a fresh apple, and the citrus is really coming through right now. It smells really good. All right, so we're closing in here on when we need to start worrying about basting because i got to get these made and cooked down. So for the bird, we were using the honey chipotle and some apple cider vinegar. For the ham, we're using this Hawaiian, which is a, like a brown sugar pineapple anyway and some pineapple juice so we got to cook these down and get them a little thicker than they are now they're a little on the thin side still and i mean they need to be thin but not quite this thin so we need to cook them down and get them ready to put on so it's been two hours uh, at this point we need to go out there and put a little more uh, oil on it to help it brown a little better and uh touch up a few spots i looked at it earlier didn't look like it lost a lot of rub yet so hopefully i don't have to open the other can that's what we're looking like already honestly I mean there's just a few little small spots I think we need to touch up but we don't need to do too much that's the ham so what we'll do is we'll pop this up that way I can use my little cheater bar here put my heat gloves on and pull it out so we can make sure we get everything good so this is what we're looking like here really don't see a lot of touch up needed but we're gonna go ahead and touch up a little bit you know, right here right in here and right in there we'll put it back in there it's got about another hour hour and a half all right so we put uh, the spray on there touched up a few spots need touched up now we're gonna get back in there and close it up so we don't lose all of our heat so I made some thick stout coffee but uh, I think I didn't need more I needed to make it bigger uh, but anyway just kind of give you a little look at the glazes so there's the one going on for the ham you can see it's simmering pretty good probably take that off the simmer here in a little bit then this is the one for the turkey. It's also simmering a little bit. Um, let me get you a little better shot here. There we go. We got probably 30 to 45 minutes before we need them, so we got plenty of time. All right, so the glazes are done. I think I made probably the right amount, maybe just a little too, not enough for the turkey. And made way too much for the ham. It's all right, they're cooling down now. So I'm going to put them on the, on the ham and the turkey here, probably about another 15, 20 minutes. So we are right at uh, about 10 degrees to go. It's not going to work. Let's move this off the side a bit. So we're right at about 155 uh, on the bird, but about 145 on the ham. Oh, hey, that smoke tube's working a lot better now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to glaze them. I'll start over here with the ham first because I don't have to really move it at all. Then we'll pull the turkey out and glaze. You can see where I've tested with a couple different thermometers now. Losing a little bit of the juice, but that's fine.
same thing with the turkey. Uh, it might be more of a pour though, it'll make a big mess, but it'll get done a lot quicker that way. So, let's get everything kind of readjusted here. Look here. It's looking good when you do a little patchwork here with the rub. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. that tack up and we're going to just a little bit more rub into the spots that needed it and then we should be done here pretty quick. left in this can so yeah we'll just use the rest of it that way I don't have a little like eighth of the can sitting around well said that and there's I guess more in there than I thought there was it's okay we're gonna take care of it Just you know, the right amount for the bird. A little too much for the ham. We got about another 10 degrees to go on the bird and, and the ham, so that'll take another 30 minutes or so, more than likely. I've been cleaning up as I go, so I don't have anything left to clean up but myself. So, kind of within the clean up as you go, you know, motto that we've been following. Might as well clean myself up some. The bad lighting's not doing this bird justice, but it looks really good. Uh, that's also why I left it on this cooling rack, because when I took it out, all I had to do was pick up the rack, move the whole thing. Do you want to tell people something? Um, yeah. You want to tell them? It's really a big turkey. Yeah? Yeah, we will eat it. Yep. Do you want to say Happy Thanksgiving? 